and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to the third upload of the day. Yep, that's absolutely right. This here is the second upload on Talk FCB plus the one earlier on over on More Talk FCB. That makes it a hat trick. And if you've watched all of them, I really do appreciate it because coming up tonight, it is a big, big video after Antoine Griezmann sat down for a surprising interview just the day before our Champions League game against Dinamo. He spoke there about his relationship with Lionel Messi. He distanced himself from the quotes there of Eric Olhatz and also from his uncle. And he spoke about his time so far and the difficulties he suffered at Barca. He spoke with emotion and there's a lot to take in. So let's do it. Because the interview was teased earlier on on Monday and it was basically said in the media that Antoine Griezmann would be sitting down there with movie star to actually discuss there all things Barcelona related. And the quote from Griezmann to promote the interview was as follows. He said, I said in my presentation with FC Barcelona that I didn't want to speak outside of the field, but instead... I wanted to do my talking on it, but I think the time has come to put some things in their place. I've been putting up with things and comments for a long time. Enough is enough. And with that, the gloves were off. Because if we first of all do revisit that presentation there of Antoine Griezmann as a new Barcelona player in 2019, which was of course just one summer after his infamous documentary when he originally announced that he was going to stay at Atletico Madrid in 2018, turning down a move to Barcelona before a dramatic U-turn in 2019. And he was asked there in his presentation, does he regret the documentary? And would he apologise to the Barca fans for what we went through back in the summer of 2018 and Griezmann said in his presentation I've done various bad things in the past but I've never regretted anything because they're things that I wanted to do at the time in the end we're together now and I can't wait to wear this shirt he then went on to say indeed just as he said tonight he said if I have to apologize I will do so on the pitch that's where I do my best talking. And indeed, if we do skip to tonight, and of course he was asked again about that documentary, The Decision. Again, did he regret it? Has it impacted his time at Barcelona? Did it affect him negatively when he first joined the club? And he went on to explain exactly why he did that documentary and what the thinking was behind it back in 2018. He said, I just wanted to show that deciding between going to one team or another, it's very complicated. He said, people thought that it was a game that I was just laughing at fans, but he said it wasn't like that. He said, I just wanted to show how a player doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to decide. Your wife speaks to you, your parents, your children. But in the end, you decide. And he even admitted, he said, after the documentary, my parents actually got really angry with me because they didn't understand what I was doing when I was filming it. And he said they also got angry because they wanted to see me in a Barcelona shirt. And of course, when it comes to Griezmann, criticism has never been far away during his time at Barcelona. He was asked there by the interviewer, do you feel as though the criticism of you is fair? Do you feel as though you get too much criticism or do you accept what's coming your way right now? And Griezmann was quite honest. He was quite open. He said, you know what? I do accept it. He said, I know that we're not seeing the best Griezmann right now. He said, but I feel that every single time something comes out in the media by way of criticism, he said, I always seem to be the first one that's going to be criticised. And he said it's tiring to wake up every single morning to see bad news. He said it doesn't let me enjoy myself out on the field. He said I almost take a breath that the day comes when nothing has come out. And he actually went a bit deeper there into what he felt was the reasons behind his struggles so far at Barcelona. Why, as he admitted there, we haven't seen the best version of Antoine Griezmann. He said I played so far under three different coaches. He said also we've had a global pandemic. He said I still need time to adapt to my teammates and for them to adapt to me and he said there's also been quite a few formation changes and there were some very interesting comments there he said there's been comments from everybody he said even from candidates for the presidency he said I don't think it's the best thing for me when they're talking about whether or not I'm a good signing and I think that there was a bit of an indirect dig at Victor Font who recently admitted that he didn't think Griezmann should have ever been signed as a Barcelona player and Griezmann hitting back there with comments coming from all areas right now but of course, the major talking point was always going to be not just there about the documentary, not just about the fact that Griezmann finally did join Barca, and of course that now he's had those struggles. The reason behind this interview, it was very clear. It was to clear up whatever has been going on between Griezmann and Lionel Messi. And what Griezmann has said here is that basically nothing, nothing has been going on, and the media, they've taken everything 
out of context. Surprise, surprise. Because Griezmann said from the moment there where I walked through the door and I spoke to Leia when I arrived at Barcelona, he told me that when I rejected the chance to sign the first time around, of course, back in 2018, he said that hurt him. He said because he'd actually asked for me there publicly to be signed for Barcelona. So he told me that had hurt him. But he said from there, I was on his side. And from that moment on, he told me that he was with me. And I noticed that every single day. So Griezmann there, not in two minds, he is absolutely crystal clear that Messi now, he's with him. Yes, he was probably angry there when he walked through the door and when Griezmann had rejected the chance to join Barca just one summer before, because honestly, who wouldn't be? I think we as fans are frustrated there that Griezmann rejected what was a golden chance to join in 2018, but look, it's water under the bridge. He's here now, he's wearing the shirt, and Messi supports him as much as anybody. And I did like the fact here that Griezmann didn't just stop there either. He didn't just clarify his relationship with Messi, but he also went as far there to distance himself from the quotes that have been emerging recently. He was asked first of all there about the quotes that came out from his former agent, and I repeat that there, his former agent and advisor, Eric Olhatz. He said, I've not had a relationship with Eric since I got married, and Griezmann there got married back in 2017. He said he didn't come to my wedding. He said, and for that reason, I was very angry with him. He's not my representative anymore. And again, I have no relationship relationship with him. He said, but he can do a lot of damage. He can create doubts there in the dressing room and doubts over my relationship with Leo. He said, Leo knows that I have a lot of respect for him and I learn from him every day. And again, Griezmann did not stop there because of course it wasn't just his former agent and advisor Eric Olhatz who had been doing some talking in the media, but there was also one of his own family members by way there of his uncle. And Griezmann also clarified those quotes. He said, then there's my uncle who doesn't even know what football is about. He said, a journalist just comes out of nowhere. He said, all they want is just to get a sentence out of you. And Griezmann said, I told Leo that I have nothing to do with either of them. The other one, like I say, I haven't talked to him for three years and I don't even have my uncle's WhatsApp. And I think certainly there, as the interview went on, Griezmann was beginning more and more frustrated. You could see him getting quite emotional. You could see that quite clearly he just didn't want these reports to keep coming out. He didn't want these doubts to keep surrounding there, in particular, that relationship with Messi. He said there is no problem with anybody. He said, just leave me alone. He didn't want that speculation. He didn't want all of this extra stuff here. He's probably trying hard enough to actually get things right on the pitch. That's where the priority needs to to be. That's where Griezmann's mind needs to be. And at the end of the day, he needs to focus on that right now. And he ended the interview there by saying, hopefully this interview will just help calm everything down a little bit. Because right now, we don't need these distractions. We've got enough problems on the pitch. Let's focus on that. And let's focus on getting the best at Griezmann, getting the best at Griezmann and Messi as a combination. And of course, above all else, the very best of this team. So that there, guys, are the quotes in full tonight from Antoine Griezmann. Those in particular were some very important quotes that I feel certainly will help to calm things down. They will help there to clarify what we've been hearing over the past few weeks. It's of no surprise to me whatsoever that actually here, the media have been spinning things in completely the wrong direction. I always say, look with your own eyes. Don't be sucked into there. The narrative, these things the media want you to believe, because quite often it's simply not the case. Messi and Griezmann, they have a good relationship, they get on well. Messi and Griezmann want to work together. They both want success at this club. And of course, we are all right behind them. So please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. It has been a long day for me. And like I say, if you have tuned in for all three of the videos, I really do appreciate it. I really, really do. And thank you indeed for all of my Talk FCB members. I haven't actually had time today to do the members only video before today's game because of all these uploads. But I appreciate you all. And of course, I'll catch you tomorrow for Barcelona traveling to Dinamo Kiev. It's an important game, and hopefully Griezmann can get on the score sheet. I'll see you then, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening or morning, whatever time it is by now, with you. Thanks as always, but until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh.